Early 96 hours until the opening of polls on Tuesday, the 8th of August, and politicians have been uh, on the campaign trail campaigning in the last rush to move voters behind their cause. And President Uru Kenyatta has defended his record in office, saying his Jubilee administration has achieved much in its first time in office. In an interview with KTN News anchor Sophia Onuna, the head of state said he is ready for a peaceful handover of power if results don't go his way, even though he maintained he was confident of emerging victorious in Tuesday's presidential poll. So it's just five days to go to the election. How confident are you on re-election? Well, I think we're confident. We've done our uh, campaign. We have uh, gone out, sold our agenda. We have a proven track record of the things that we've done over the last four years. So we're very hopeful that the people of Kenya will give us another opportunity to continue with the work that we have already started. We've laid the foundation and we, we think they will give us an opportunity to continue our work. There are those who are concerned about security. There's anxiety about security during and after the election. As president, what do you tell them on security? I want to assure them and to assure every single Kenyan that we are doing everything that we can to ensure that all Kenyans are secure, that all Kenyans will have the ability to cast their vote and to be and to cast their vote and to be in peace. We have put in place measures to ensure that that happens and all we are asking of our people is that on that particular day let every single eligible citizen cast their vote, head home and wait for the results. Yes, and the debate around the military engagement. There are those who say... I, I really don't want to comment over rubbish because as far as we are concerned, if we were to use the military for any reason, why are we busy campaigning across the country? We're busy campaigning across the country because we believe that in a democratic society, it's the people who have the right to choose. And ours is to wait for the will of the people and we are working very hard Today we have attended three different rallies in three different counties, talking to the people of Kenya, asking them for their vote, telling them of what we've done, telling them of what we intend to do. We have no intention whatsoever to use the military and police. That's just empty propaganda from a group that already knows they have lost the election. For those who talk about, especially the military, in securing the country, that they should only do so in emergencies, as president, is there intelligence? The duty, the duty of all our security forces is to ensure that every single Kenyan and their property is safe. And that function they will exercise before, during, and after the election. Pollsters indicate this is a close election, that if you win the presidency, there's half of the country that will not have voted for you. So what will you do to unite the country differently from what you did in the last five years, which we also had a close election? We have continued to advocate our argument that Kenya is one. And I think we have proved that by the works that we have done across the country and I believe you can even see the reception that we're getting here in Mombasa where we got no votes last time because we did not leave any part of the country out of our development agenda and this is something we intend to continue to have an inclusive government inclusive development so that we can have equity across the country that is our agenda and what we hope and pray is that Kenyans will also see in terms of what we have done to be inclusive and to have development that's nationwide and give us leaders also that we can work together from across the country, across communities, across religion as we have now, so that we can continue with our agenda. If you lose, will there be a peaceful handover of power? There will absolutely be a peaceful handover of power. But I want to be very clear, I am very confident that the Jubilee Party is going to win this election and I believe based on the strong track record of work and development that we have done, that Kenyans will give us another opportunity. But me, my history is known. If I have lost, I have always uh, considered defeat and done everything I can to ensure that the country moves forward. And I speak with great confidence, God willing, the people of Kenya are accepting that they will give us an opportunity to continue. This is perhaps your last visit to the coast ahead of the election, and land is a big issue. There are those who say you've barely scratched the surface in issuing title deeds, that the fundamental issues are yet to be addressed. What do you say? We may, we may not, we may have only scratched the surface, but I can promise you, we have scratched that surface deeper than any government in the past. Over the last four years, in coast, the former coast province alone, we have issued over 300,000 title deeds, more in four years.
that have ever been issued in this country since independence. So I believe we are heading in the right direction. I believe we are addressing issues. We don't blame anybody. We don't shout at anybody. Our agenda is that we want to resolve the problems that Kenyans have, wherever they may be, whatever those issues are, we want to bring solutions. And as I have always said, we don't want to discuss the land question. Our aim, our agenda, is to bring about a solution to the land problem. On corruption, you are on record saying you've done all you can to deal with corruption. So what else then will you do if elected? Should people vibe? For sure, we will continue to strengthen those institutions. We will continue to work together with them. We will continue to put a great deal more emphasis that the judiciary, the DPP and all agencies that are involved in this particular fight must start bringing results for the cases that are before them. And that is what Kenyans want. And we will put a great deal of attention on those institutions to make sure they deliver because we have given them all the resources they require. So ours is to put pressure on them so that they can deliver in accordance with uh, their mandate to the people of Kenya. In the last five years, what would you say is the one thing you regret, the one thing you maybe you failed in that you'll do better in if you're elected? I don't believe we have failed in anything. I would have loved to be able to move a lot faster if it wasn't for the numerous court cases and issues being brought about, but that's part of the democratic process. Mine, if I were to say I have a regret, is the loss of life that has been occasioned on Kenya by our, uh, these uh, evil-minded uh, terrorists. And uh, I believe we have also done a lot to stem the tide of, uh, um, of killings of our people by these terrorists, and we will continue to do more. Because I believe at the end of the day, our major objective is to ensure that Kenyans are safe and that we deal with this menace of uh, terrorism once and for all.